And thanks for joining us tonight. First at six, a long-awaited groundbreaking for a Janesville company is facing delays. Funding problems are holding up production for Shine Medical Technology's new facility, but there is a plan to get it back on track. Our Rock County reporter Jenna Middaw has the details. Well, Shine Medical Technology recently moved its headquarters here to downtown Janesville, and the company has plans to build a full-scale production facility in the area, but it needs more funding before that can happen. Shine Medical Technologies is working to build a 57,000 square foot facility in Janesville where it would produce a radioactive medical isotope called Molly 99. The isotope is used in stress tests that help identify heart disease and diagnose bone cancer. But there are only four producers worldwide and none in the Western Hemisphere. So the U.S. is experiencing some minor shortages these days. Which puts the pressure on Shine to get the new facility up and running. But a lack of funding is pushing back when the company can start producing the isotope. We are delayed from our original schedule. If we had had all of our funding right up front, we would be going a lot faster. So the company is working on a deal with the city of Janesville to start building a prototype facility on land next to where the main facility would go. Shine hopes that by having a prototype building, there will be more interest in investing in the company. Now the deal with the city would be that Shine would use its own funds to build the prototype facility and then the city would pay between 1.5 and 2 million dollars to help move the prototype onto the main campus once it's built. Now that money would be in addition to the 9 million dollar TIF agreement the city signed back in 2012. In Janesville, Jenna Middaw, WISC News 3. Shine hopes to break ground on the prototype facility this summer. Once it gets enough funding, the company plans to start construction on the main production facility in 2018 and start producing the medical isotope in 2020.